Hey, bless God. I'm just caught up with the beauty of the Lord today. I'm caught up. And as we were passing by this scene, the Lord brought this thought past, you know, that he make of us to lie down beside the what, Susie? Still waters, praise God. And I'm here with my friend Susie. And we were just talking, you know, and um, just the beauty of lying down beside the still waters. And in life, we can be so busy with the hustle and bustle of life, but we got to take a pause for the calls and really take time to uh, lie down beside the still waters. Hi, Sylvia. God bless you. Hope one day you come join us on our walk. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So as uh, from some amazing women to another amazing uh, woman, God bless you. But we were out and about and we were thinking about the scripture where it says in Psalms 23, where he make of us to lie down beside the still waters. And then my friend Susie said, you want to share what you said, Susie? <laughs> my friend Susie reminded she said yeah and he restores our soul so when we think about that we think about sometimes you know when we rest in the Lord let's not forget that God is restoring he's pouring in he's pouring in restoration he's pouring in renewal he's pouring in a refreshing when we stop and pause beside the still waters and those waters out here there look so uh, wonderful and so restful today and everything we know in life sometimes there can be a lot of turbulence but praise God God wants his people to know how to pull into the filling station to know bless God that just as automobiles when they get empty they have to pull into the filling station or they won't be able to run every once in a while we have to pull into the filling station and we have to know why we do what we do why we do what we do so when we rest beside the still waters uh, that means that we're resting in the presence of the lord and we're expecting restoration we're expecting god to pour back in and you know on this little out and about scene today that we're doing God is restoring. We're kind of taking our time and walking in the presence of the Lord. And He is restoring. He's reviving. Uh, he's renewing. He's refreshing. Praise God. And so we are excited. So we want to just be mindful in the days to come. You got a word, Susie? Just like when we need to get our car, something done to our car, that's what God is doing when He has us to rest. Because you can't move your car if the power steering is not working if there's no gas in the tank if your engine is not working you're going nowhere so it's we're to, to God we are his people and we are to allow him to restore us and move out some of those things in us that don't need to be praise God amen so we want a car that's running and top tip condition. Hi, Deborah. God bless you. Where are you, Deborah? What you doing, Deborah? Hi, Ella V. What you doing? Your lady's gonna have to join us on our out and about tour. We're walking beside the still water. We're being refreshed by the Lord. We're being strengthened by the Lord. Amen. We're name. being restored by the Lord. Praise God. So. Uh, we're excited about the presence of the Lord today yes. and everything. And, you know, as we were talking about that automobile, you know, we have to have windshield wiper fluid, windshield wiper fluid in there. We have to have the a proper amount of air in the tires, you know. And for this season that we're in, God wants us running in tip-top shape. And know, ladies, that we can uh, learn a lot of scripture. We can pray, 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 or what have you. But if we're not able to make the journey, if our bodies are not fit, if our minds minds are not fit praise God it will hinder us so we want praise God to um we want to uh, just recharge ourselves, rejuvenate ourselves, be conscious, praise God, that we want to be refreshed, we want to be restored, and know why we do what we do, that when we're out and about in the presence of the Lord, we want to be strengthened, praise God. We're expecting to be strengthened. When you're walking with Jesus, how could you not be, praise God? So we're excited. Amen. 
LV says, I'm working on it. I know that's right, praise God. And we charge you, praise God, to continue, praise God, and know that he who has begun a good work in you, he shall continue to perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Deborah, I see you at work. God bless you. We're still praying for you. God has a plan. He said he knows the plan that he has for you, praise God. So I'm excited. So you trust him, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding whatsoever he tell you to do you just gotta do it so well we're out of here we were pausing for the calls for a moment but we're gonna be out and about and when we see new scenery we'll be coming forth Deborah said we need to be able to turn with the horses uh, to run with the horses amen absolutely praise God and you know I perceive that God is getting us ready I perceive that something new is about to break through praise God God is about to open some new doors it's gonna be a sudden thing so right about here we really got to keep our pace going with God to make sure that we're doing what the Holy Spirit would have us to do and those things that he would put on our hearts to do let's not delay you know but he said get out and walk today and that was what he was putting on my heart to do and I said oh I do it Wednesday maybe we'll do it later you know but somehow here we are and because we are we get a chance to say hello to some amazing women and you're not amazing because we said you're amazing you are amazing because your father says that you are you are amazing because you come from some amazing DNA praise God so our expectation is that you're gonna do amazing things for the glory of God so God bless you we're out of here hope to see you soon bye bye